No, bro, fuck this. Face the fuck up, bitch. Hey, hey. Hollywood, I know that Hollywood. Yo, what is up boys, it is Mythics here and today I'm going to be doing a full editing tutorial on how to edit highlights like me. This is in Vegas Pro 16 and I'm going to leave all the links in the description to everything you need in this video. Let's get into it. Alright boys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the description and go into the YouTube video showing you how to download Preset Manager 2.0 for Sony Vegas. Once you've done that, just go into the description below that and download these two files. Alright boys, so once you've done both of those steps, all you need to do is, doesn't matter which one first, just open the file up and it will take you into Preset Manager. And once you're in Preset Manager, you just want to import the file or you can just open the file and it will take you straight to Preset Manager. And then press on FX Change, drag them all, hold and right click, and just press this arrow going down, Copy to System. Now, I've already got them, so it's popping this up, but if you don't already have them, it will just automatically do it. So I'm just going to press cancel and go back. And then do the same with the other one. FX change. Select them all. Do that. And you've now installed presets for Sony Vegas. Alright boys, so once you've done all that, you just want to load up Vegas Pro. I'm using version 16. There is a version 18 and 17, but they have plugins bugs, so I've, I'd suggest using 16. Alright, just load it up. Alright, once it's loaded up, you just want to import your clips. I'm using Verox clips. Alright boys, so now I've imported everything I need to do this highlight. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag in the song. Once you've dragged in the song, just put, just make another audio track below that. So now you've got two audio tracks. Once you've got two audio tracks, you just want to drag in one of the cinematics. These cinematics are Numbi cinematics and I'll leave a link to the Google Drive folder with these in, in the description. Alright, actually the first thing you want to do before you input your cinematics is you want to go over all the beat drops you're using in the song and mark them. So, just listen to the song and find the beat drops for the cinematics. <coughs> so I'm going to have mine, my cinematic end like here. And let's find the first beat drop. Okay, so we've got the first beat drop. You just want to go about one frame before it, one or two frames before it, and just press M on your keyboard to mark her. Hollywood, I know that Hollywood. Probably just. All right, that's the second beat drop. So just go about listen again. Know that Hollywood. Probably just. Probably just a Billy. And just mark it on the frame again. It's this one thing. Billy, yeah, she probably would. And there. So now you got all your markers. You can drag in this. All right. So once you've added velocity, you just want to left click at the end of the text, put that on normal, keep it on normal even, like that, and go to the end, add another point and drag that up to 1000, just drag it across to the end. And this is what it now looks like. <coughs> Alright, let's get into the next part. Alright boys, so all you want to do now is just want to drag your first clip in to wherever and find the where the kill happens and go about two frames before the gun, the orange gun pellet, whatever it is, shows up. So, one, two and press S on your keyboard to split the clip and delete this side and then drag that onto the marker of where the beat drop is and then just drag the clip across to there that's where the clip starts so I'm going to have it start there and this is what it now looks like alright and now I'm going to show you how I add my ident so just want to import another video track and I'm going to drag my ident in to there. I'm going to make it a bit, a bit quicker than it normally is and I mean this is what it now looks like. I <coughs> 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 didn't in but the ident is showing over the clip now so all you want to do is you want to go to the audio, the video track that the ident is on, press on the three lines 
press composting mode and lighten and that should have done it so now this is what it looks like so yeah and now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna fade the clip in like that and make this actually a bit longer and then i'm gonna split the clip about there and i'm gonna add bright just the normal vegas brightness and contrast find it there okay so once you've got that in now you just want to keyframe just brightness so you want to go towards the end of the clip about there and put the brightness on about 700 minus 700 even and go to the start actually and do the same about minus 700 ish doesn't really matter go back to here and then go towards the end and put this back to zero and that's done and now this is what it looks like Alright, so that, that's looking a lot better now. And now we're going to add velocity to the first clip. Alright, so to add velocity now, same thing again. Just go on the marker, right click, insert slash remove envelope velocity. So now you get velocity and you just want to go on the, about literally right before the marker and add a point and drag that up to 1000 about there and then on the marker add a point this is my velocity by the way and we're going to make this 50 once you've done that you want to go two frames to the left one two and right before that make a point and put that to 50 and then where you originally was put it to normal well, normal and you just want to split the clip on the uh, the beat drop, so there, and this is what it now looks like. So that's velocity done, and I did leave presets in the description. So once you've downloaded them, and I've shown you what to do at the start, you just want to go to effects on the second clip after the beat drop, and go to if it if it shows your normal um, effects. You just want to go to filter packages and all your presets that you've installed will show. Now I'm pretty sure I left some transitions, these transitions in it and I also left some of my presets. So if I find my presets, these are my presets here. You can add any of these, so I'm going to add blur, shake and distort RGB. Just press add OK and it does everything for you. Now for this you need the Sapphire plugins and I'll leave a link to a YouTube video with them in the description. And this is what it now looks like. So it's pretty cool. Alright, All right, so now what I'm going to do on the same clip is I'm going to do a nice effect that is very easy to do and I like it a lot. So all you want to do is just on the marker of the music just split the clip, press an S, the audio I mean, and just drag the fades so it's not faded. And you want to find where it says like a sentence start or like a line start. So like here. And then I'm just going to split the audio again there. And for the audio you're going to add effects. Now everyone should have this on Vegas Pro. Resonant filter, add, OK. And then here on preset, just press the arrow and go to muffler. And add that, save it, back out. And this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And now what you want to do is, on the same point of where you split the audio, split the clip, go to effects. Oh, what have I done there? Go back to that. Uh, effects, and one of the presets is called Black Fade. Just add that in. Save that. And this is what it now looks like. This clip is now done, I'd say. Hey, Hollywood, I know that Hollywood. So yeah, that's the kill effects done. Let's show you how to do transitions. Alright, so now you just want to import your next clip and once again find the um the shop and shop. So the pellet first shoot, this is a hard one to see. Pellet first shoot there, so you go two frames back, split, delete, and drag that across to the marker. And then drag that now to there. So that's done like that. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to add to transition to each clip. So I'm going to go on this clip. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 frames to the right. Split it. And on this clip, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 frames to the left. And press on effects. Now I also added in these transitions here. So is that them? Yeah, it is. So basically what you want to do is on the first clip, let's say you add middle A, press add, OK, save that, and now you've got this transition. And then you want to go into the, the next clip on the transition and add middle B. Make sure you add B and not A again. And this is what it now looks like. And then we're going to add velocity on this again. Uh, I'm going to use the same velocity, so just there, 50. Put that on 1000, 1, 2. Right before it, 50, same place, normal. On the marker, split the clip, and this is what it now looks like. And then here, you just want to add effects. And I'm going to use another really cool shaker I think looks pretty good. So you want to find a preset called God Shake, which is in with these, and add that. And this is what it now looks like. It's like a big impact shake, and then I'm just going to add another effect. I'm going to add S underscore glow. You need the sapphire plugin for it. S underscore glow. And I'm going to put the colour to a nice turquoise, because I think turquoise looks coolers. And drag that up to the top. And then go on brightness, keyframe it. And just drag it towards about here. And put that back to zero. And this is what it now looks like. I, and I mean, I think that looks good so far. So now I'm going to show you the whole thing from start to finish. I think that's pretty good and now I'm going to show you how to add an outro. Alright, so what I'm going to do to add an outro is you're just going to go to the last clip and just fade it about two seconds. Two seconds out. Put it, put it to about there, maybe. This clip's pretty short at the end. And you just want to import some text. Media generators. Legacy text. I'm going to add in default legacy text. And I'd put that to about five seconds long from right there and just fade it in and out. So all you want to do is press on this, put the put this to about 36, and I'm just gonna put thanks for watching and an exclamation mark and I'm gonna go to about there. I'm just gonna put edited by at mythics vfx and the reason I've done that is because you can add your YouTube channel end screen and you just want to split the audio split the audio there put the opacity down not the opacity the decibel and fade it what's happening fade it in and out like that and this is what it now looks like at the end she catching feelings for me since I got my comments up face down and stop how I fall in love gonna leave this end audio and to this I'm gonna add some waterways just go to video effects type in waterways oh it's lagging good old Vegas crash oh no they've crashed the scope and I've got a preset from myself called text weave and just copy these settings save that and this right now looks like she catching feelings for me since I got my comments up face down ass and I mean yeah you're pretty much done 
hope this video helped out with your how to edit like me and highlights and yeah thanks for watching the video peace out all right boys one thing i forgot about is you just want to add base squish to each clip and drag it across to about there copy it paste it into the second clip oh paste it in and drag it to about there the same point and you want to put this to about between like 2.5 and 3 so i'm going to put it to about 2.7 and yeah now you now you're actually done so yeah i mean thanks for watching the video boys if you want another editing tutorial please let me know and i'll do one in a couple of months time if there's anything else you want let me know in the description uh, comments and i'll answer your questions peace out boys